the combination square here and take your pencil and put a mark. Ah, okay. And then you're going to be right on. You gotcha. see what I'm saying, right? I started Ecotone Building as an idea for how can we meet some of the unmet building needs of the community and to train some young people from inside the community to have those skills and to take matters into their own hands, to have their own ideas and design and build the communities that they want to live in. We're out here now on Maple Street, the Maple Street Community Garden, trying to finish up this shed that we've been building all fall and winter. It's been the culmination of the 2014 training session. We started on the ground. First day of the training, breaking down a pallet. We made little toolboxes out of pallet lumber. Now today, to see these guys out here building a shed, putting the finishing touches on this shed using pallet lumber, brings the whole training of 2014 full circle and to see the skills that these guys have gained in that amount of time is nothing shy of phenomenal. We started on a very simple level, not knowing how to cut straight, not knowing how to hammer correctly, essentially having no experience at all. school I went to, they not teach us stuff like Comac or wood shop or stuff like that. I didn't have any carpentry experience. It was like a new thing, a new fresh start for me. I had these blank canvases that just say, okay, how do I want to teach them carpentry? I'm going to start them with the basics, the rudiments, the chisel and the mallet. We didn't use screws and nails. We made dowels out of pallet lumber. At times I would see them just say, man, this is, this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. And I'd say, yeah, it sure is. Connecting your hands and your body with your mind and your full concentration is a big part to me of what carpentry is. At first I thought it was just going to be how to do some joinery and how to be better at carpentry, but it, it goes a lot deeper than that. This makes you like very self-sufficient, self-sustainable, like you know you're able to do for you, for you. From this I learned like to get to, to a place on time because in the professional world like while I'm working that's very important. Angles, geometry, basic trigonometry has been solidified by making the cuts, by laying out the cuts. I've seen what I've gotten from the experience. I've seen how much I've grown from the experience. When you feel like oh there's more, I can achieve more, I can do more, and you just want to run with it. All the wood in the shed that we're building is all reclaimed wood. It's good in a setting like this because a lot of people, they don't think of New York as somewhere where you could do things like this. So Ecotone building, there's a strong focus on natural building. And in Brooklyn, where, where it's, it's an urban jungle, you have to be creative with how, how you go about natural building. Reusing things is, is natural building. So reusing pallets to me is natural. Reusing lumber from scaffolding, that's natural building. In the city, urban natural building takes on a different kind of form. And I'm really trying to introduce the apprentices to that concept. I like the fact that, that Ecoton Buildings aims to produce quality through reclaimed work. We, we take a piece of reclaimed wood and we take a time with it as if it was an expensive piece of mahogany. It's a very powerful statement that you can make something extremely nice, even if it is reclaimed, just by putting in the work. The amount of effort and work that you put in, the amount of time and energy that you put in is conducive to the product that you have at the end of it. And that's one of the best lessons I learned there. We have this team now. We have this team of young people with skills and I want to see them take their skills to the next level. I want to see them reach their potential. I want to see them building substantial things in the community that people can be proud of, that they can be proud of, that people can appreciate, that we can all look at and say that's positive. It's cool to create something tangible. Like it can become part of your legacy. If you, if you build something, then you can be like, oh, I built that. I would love to be able to build uh, playgrounds, you know, pl places that people can go um, and get together and really connect with each other. I will build a recreation center. I'll build that for all the children that lives out here. So like they will have something to do in the daytime. They won't get in trouble or they won't find anything bad to do. There's a great proverb, 
Great societies are built when old men plant trees for shade they'll never sit in. And that's exactly what's happening right now. We're going to take this back to hand tools. We're going to take this back to basics. We're going to take this back to salvaging our own materials, natural building, and we're going to see if we can make that relevant today, if we can make that relevant in the future.